The legal challenge was filed today to block an expansion of the Orleans Parish Jail. The proposed wing to house mentally ill inmates has been the subject of a fierce fight in federal court under the jail's consent decree. Now a new battlefront has been opened in state court. Investigative reporter Mike Perlstein joining us in studio. He's been following the story and has the latest. Well, that's right, Cherise. Our previous reporting has revealed a long list of strong objections to the so-called Phase 3 jail expansion. Today at City Hall, there was a protest rally against the plan. The objections include the $100 million price tag, the controversial Panopticon circular design, and Sheriff Susan Hudson's position that she doesn't have enough deputies to staff a new wing. While those issues are being heard in federal court, a local nonprofit representing the inmate community called Voice of the Experienced filed suit today in state civil court to block the plan. Vote claims in this petition that the city improperly moved $32 million from other city projects to fund the jail construction. Bruce Riley is Vote's deputy director. You can't do anything at this size and magnitude without proper notification and proper public hearing. Came as a big surprise to a lot of people that the city has been sort of socking away some money. Now the group is asking for a temporary restraining order to block the budget transfer. They are set to appear in court, Sharice and Katie, on the matter next Tuesday. All right.